Well, my friends, you know the expression, time flies when you're having fun. And I must be having a lot of fun because it is time for the fifth annual, fifth annual, what? not fit for print beauty community awards. Yes, at the end of every year, I poll our ever growing community to see what beauty products you have been enjoying all year. And for the first time this year, we have joined the 21st century and I have a Google form. So there is a link down below. Um, we're going to go through the questions are and I'm going to tell you some of my thinking and what um, I feel should inform your answers here. But down below, there is a link to a Google form that you can fill out to submit. And I am going to leave these questions open. You can answer. I'll, I'll finish my tallying right around December 20th, and it's the 8th right now, uh, if you're just seeing this video when it's released. So everybody has around two weeks until about midnight California time on the 20th of December 2024. If a few stragglers come in, I'll let them in. But really, that's when I'm going to try to cut it off because I'm going to have to tally. Now, I'm using a Google form, and we have... 21 questions this year. Everywhere it's, every year it's everywhere between like 20 and 22, but there's 21 questions this year. That's a derivative of seven. Good, we got good luck uh, for the coming year in 2025. Uh, these questions are going to be short answer on the Google form. I have a few that are just kind of yes or no. So a few where you just select the answer, but for the most part, um, I am allowing you to do short answer on them, which does make a little more work for me but I would kind of rather have extra work if it means that you guys uh, could be a little bit more free with your answers. If I limited you when I ask a question about what mascara you wore, you would only have like four to choose from, you know? Um, and if I included a space for other, you'd be doing the write-ins a lot anyway. So I just went with the write-in, unless it's kind of a one or the other question. So there's about two or three uh, where you click the answer on the Google form. Um, and then at the bottom, uh, you can fill it in, type it in, whatever. And at the bottom, just hit submit. If you're on your phone, you can even click it and use a little microphone and do voice to text. Make it easy for yourself. I don't care if you spell things wrong. I'll figure it out. All right, so let's go over what these questions are. And remember that you have until midnight California time on December 20th, 2024, so that towards the very end of the year, I can have a video with our winners. The first is, which beauty brand do you think had the most hype this year? So uh, what I mean by that question is, in 2024, what brand did you almost maybe get sick of hearing about? Like what brand was just everywhere? It was the it brand of 2024. On everybody's lips, everybody was reviewing them. I know what my answer is. I'm not going to tell you what last year's was, because I think it's the same this year. You have to look. Next question is, what neutral eyeshadow palette did you like the most this year? Now, this could have been released any year. I just want to know what you were wearing the most this year. Were you grabbing the Biba palette? Uh, that's a little warm, but maybe you think of it as neutral. No judgment. We listen. We don't judge. So if you, uh, I don't care if it was released in 2024, just give me the neutral eyeshadow palette that you wore the most this year. You may skip any question you want. The Google form allows that. Just skip it if you don't have an answer. Don't worry about it. Uh, then the next is the colorful eyeshadow palette that you liked the most this year. Even if it wasn't released in 2024, I'm not going to make you look up release dates. Just tell me what colorful eyeshadow palette you enjoyed the most. Again, if you never wore colorful eyeshadow, just skip the question. This is my favorite one. This is a bit of a negative question, but every year this is my absolute favorite. The stupidest release of 2024. Like a release where you just went, who would buy that? Uh, one year we had, remember when Pat McGrath had those diamondy sequin things that you put all over your lips? Um, one year we had the Fenty ketchup or lipstick release. Do you remember that? Ketchup or makeup? Remember that one? What was the stupidest? I mean, you were just like, why would anyone buy this? And it could be gimmicky or it could be serious, but you just thought it was just a stupid release. Answer that one. The next question is an expensive brand that you felt was worth your money this year. What do I call expensive? whatever you call expensive. What brand costs a lot of money, but gosh darn it, you like the products and you thought it was worth it? The next question is, the antithesis of that, what expensive brand was not worth the money? What brand did you spend a lot of money on something or see someone else spend a lot of money and think, that was a waste, I could have done better at the drugstore? 
Yeah, every year there's a few that are favorites that are targeted by that question. What was the biggest, most expensive beauty purchase you made in 2024? Now, this depends on you. You might have bought a Dyson uh, Airstrait, spent 500 bucks, or for you, it might have just been a really big splurge at a Sephora sale. Doesn't matter, all relative to your spending habits. What was your priciest single beauty product purchase? I would love to know. What brand of lipstick did you wear the most in 2024? doesn't have to be made in 2024. You'll see all these questions uh, when you go to the Google link that will be down below. Uh, just tell me the brand. I don't need the shade. If we start doing shades, we'll never get a consensus. Just what brand did you wear? Did you? Are you still just wearing all Pat McGrath or all Charlotte Tilbury? Or did you wear drugstore? What was your favorite? You always grabbed this brand, no matter the shade and no matter the formulation. What brand of mascara? Were you partial to Tarte mascara this year? Did you find a benefit that you loved? Again, brand only. Don't tell me the actual mascara because that makes it a little too broad. Uh, and do you tend to wear more cream or powder in 2024? That's going to be cream or powder. That's going to be an answer you can click on. I reviewed these questions a little bit today with my members. So we have a membership here on YouTube. It's $4.99 a month. All the money goes back into the channel. And in this membership, we have weekly lives. And Lisa F., who is a member, said something really interesting. She's like, I kind of am equally cream and powder. Um, and for that, I would say that does make answering that question tough when it's either or. Just kind of pick the one you enjoyed using more, or you can skip the question. Okay. Um, a beauty trend you didn't do very much this year. This is a new question. A beauty trend that you didn't really bother with this year, but um, in the previous years you always did. I'll answer that one already for you. For me, it was bronzer. Like I didn't bronze or highlight even a lot this year. And in previous years, I never would have skipped that. So what, maybe lip liner, mascara, what did you always do every year? And this year you just kind of, found yourself either forgetting to do it or deciding to skip it. What was your favorite independent brand of 2024? An indie brand, of course, would be one of the smaller ones that isn't owned by a bigger conglomerate. Or generally, we tend to think of indie as also small. Maybe they're packing their own makeup, like Viseart or Sydney Grace, or uh, there's so many out there. I'm not even naming some of the best Nomad and a bunch of those. What was your favorite independent beauty brand? What brand did you try this year for the first time? It doesn't have to be with a 2024 release, but you fought, finally went, I'm going to try that brand this year. For me, it was a typology. I can answer some of these already. Okay. Uh, what was your favorite place to buy beauty in 2024. This is, of course, going to be dependent upon where you live. I realize that. And there are more viewers in, uh, let's say, the U.S., so that's why Sephora tends to win this. Uh, but we had some other contenders last year. And for that, I usually give a second place because Sephora tends to take that. Uh, but, you know, I the second place is also interesting. Do you do your beauty shopping more online or in-store that is also a new question for this year, and that's when you can click in store or online. If you're kind of in between, just click which one you prefer or skip it. Uh, the biggest release this year that got the most excitement. So earlier on, I asked which brand had a lot of hype. This year, I want to know what release, what product did you just see everyone on YouTube, Instagram, whatever, so excited about. And then it came out. It was just this one release by this one brand that just hit it out of the park. I think I know the answer to that, uh, but I do, on this one, I don't want to unduly influence you. I will be giving you my answers to these questions when we review uh, towards the very end of this year. Okay, a brand that you used to love and now you're just kind of like, meh. So a brand, I mean, every time they did a release, you were so excited, and now they release something, and you're like, oh, did they? I didn't notice. So a brand that has fallen in your estimation, but you used to love them. And what brand were you the most loyal to this year? In 2024, doesn't have to do with releases in 2024, but you found that you were purchasing from this brand over and over again. What brand were you most loyal to in 2024? What brand made the blush you wore the most in 2024? Did you love Chanel blush this year? Doesn't matter the color, 
Doesn't matter the shade, just the brand you bought the most blush from this year. Patrick Ta, maybe. What brand made the highlighter that you wore the most in 2024? Don't need to give me the shade. Don't even need to give me the formulation. What band, brand of makeup brushes did you grab for the most? Not purchase, but grab for the most. Were you always grabbing your BK Beauty, Beauty brush? Were you always grabbing a Merit brush? Sonia G, Refer, Real Techniques, whatever, Chanel, MAC. And that is it. Those are the 21, if I counted correctly, questions on this year's Best of Beauty Community Awards from Not Fit for Print Beauty. Once you guys get that Google form filled out and submit at the bottom, just click submit. Let me know any technical difficulties that you're running into. If you don't want to use the Google form, you do need to check it out for the questions. But if you would like to email me or send me a DM, I can also just send you the question separately and I will count your answers that way. But everyone told me that a Google form would make life easier for them. So super happy to do that. But yeah, if you need the questions just sent to you over email or DM, that's fine too. My email is down below and you know how to get to me on Instagram as well. Uh, but like I said, let me know any other technical glitches. Get those answers in by December 20th, 2024, midnight my time in California, Los Angeles time. And I will get them all tallied up to be read out at the end of the year. I think we'll get even more participation. I'm really excited. We usually get um, well over 1,000 to 2,000. I think we're going to get even more. So that's going to give us a really nice consensus. I'm very excited to see what you guys think. It's kind of my own little marketing department, really. Uh, so let me know what you guys think and any suggestions down below. Comment away and make sure that you click on that link. Comment below to let me know that you clicked on it. Let me know everything's going okay. All right. Uh, and that way I can get in all your answers. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you are subscribed. Look below for what I am wearing today and how to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Threads, giving super thanks and joining our membership and our Facebook group. I will look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Bye-bye.